getting in this contest, you have to be creative. You have to be the one to say, I'm, they gonna look at me and not you. So you start saying, hey, my son, what's happening? I say nothing, but You don't lie. You don't lie? You don't lie? No, we don't lie. We just talking a little history. I need that hat. So, basically, what happened was, we started dressing, going, getting, getting these made clothes, all so elaborate and everything. You see people, a guy come in the door with a suit, look like it's got a extension cord and it plug up and light up. They're like, oh shit, they getting extravagant with this shit. But then, the 90s was all full of competition, the world's largest, the whole thing. When they got to the middle and they gave away $34,000 and a trip to the Bahamas, it was 10,000 people in the Sheridan Hotel. The fire department used to be there. The fire department didn't come to that one because they had the room to hold the people. The, the Sheridan Ballroom is the biggest ballroom in the Chicago Greater Land area. The one they used to bounce. Doors, they can hold 15,000 people. And we damn near packed it. We was on the news, we was on the radio everywhere. You thought we had made it. Because now we feel like we're really being appreciated on a level to where they really going to pay us stacks. Ten stacks I want, I want, but going up and that was the end of it. it ever since then it went down. Yes, that's Tony down. Excuse me, bro. Why do you why do you think that? Crabs in a barrel Y'all here? Thumbs up you can Crabs in a barrel mentality. Everybody trying to get to the top and you don't want to support the next person next to you. It had to do with uh, sponsors and relationships on a business level. Uh, money started getting taken off the top. A lot of Nigga shit. Let's yeah. just say that. Yeah. Let's just keep it, it real. That's what it is. That's what it is. And keep say what it is. So everybody, when when I won the ten thousand dollars, me and Dollar in the rough. That's when I started teaching him. That's the first year he came into the contest. So I had him, and I had won ten thousand. Everybody started coming to me because he's the man with the mice. If he won, he can teach us to win. Everybody started coming. Everybody started. And in my basement, a new school was created. Say hey. Listen to the man, Tony Dow. See, Tick Man. What am I doing, what? Where my shit at? <laughs> so, oh yeah, film on TV. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Real TV. I'm so, sorry. He, you know how it is when you got youth and elders out with the old. We fresh. He used to pop lock and win competitions. That shit. Him and Dave and all that. So he had ideas. So while I'm teaching him, he's like, "Well, hold on, can I?" And I, and we start. Yeah, that, that'll work, but you gotta put, and then, it, and we change the culture, <laughs> change the dance. So, I start getting all these young, fresh people in my basement. We start going out, I start telling them, look, we're gonna wear this color, and we're going to this club, and we're going to this spot for breakfast. Then, then it got big, and everybody started wanting to. They, when they coming, the basement crew, and where y'all going for breakfast? And all it was really exciting time for me and my people. But the culture was being changed. You know, it was fresh. It was a whole new idea. I took them all to my tailor. I told him, what kind of car you drive? Oh, you got to get a Cadillac. We all went and got Cadillac. Really? I'm telling the truth. This, this happened. Thank you. And, um, I can't concentrate and they be playing with that damn water. I don't play none of that shit. We'll be end up over there some point talking. They do that again. But anyway, so... It was like, it was on. We was, now what happened was, nobody had, we all learned with each other when we was growing up. You leave school, we going to the set this weekend and we gonna practice in the basement. It was no classes, it was no teaching, it was no, none of that. Nobody had never grabbed somebody and said, I'm from the cuff, you going with me. 
I don't know. I guess it was all God's work, you know, just being driven to do this. But he, you know, we was young and good looking and shit, and everybody was like, where y'all at? Where y'all gonna be? He had charisma, and his dance and his personality pulled everybody in. And it was like nobody had ever took somebody and built them. Yeah. From the very He's very kind and humble, too. Very humble. Me and him both. And it was a great combination. Yeah. And that, here we come. So, this one we met, Shawnee's, all in, all this happened at the same time. Maurice, China, Royce, all of them. Everybody, come to my basement. We finna straighten this shit out. <laughs> and we did. We slowly just... And we became a dynasty. You hear me? Have y'all seen the footage of me ticking Chinese doing the trio? Yes. yes. You too. That was when we was in our prime. Yes. That was when everything was happening. <laughs> and we were at the top of the food chain. And it was beautiful. Because we weren't arrogant or ignorant or nasty or none of that. We was cool. We was bring it in. Everybody, everybody's welcome. You know, that type of thing. And it grew the days because younger people started coming. Now, here's the situation. 1994, they had a contest. In the freestyle contest, this guy brought a big-ass box. He had help. They brought a big-ass box and set it on the stage. So the couple started dancing. He got up on the box. No, the couple started dancing. So this dude go to the box and reach in there and get something, like maybe a jump rope or something. He come out and he put that back and go get something else, a fan or whatever. Uh -huh. Hilarious. Like you laughing, he was funny as hell. <laughs> he reached in the box and got a dummy, a little boy, a dummy, that they had made and sold clothes on. And he was spinning the dummy and doing all this and shit. He put the dummy back in the box and went and danced with his partner. He went back to that box and got the dummy again and pulled him out. And it was his son. Wow. That dummy came to life and started moving his feet and shit. Whoa! Whoa. Come on. <laughs> the whole place went up. They was like, oh my God, what happened? The dummy came to life. I went home that night. And I, I had been drinking too. He won third place. I went home that night. And I was driving home. And the, the song came on uh, Hunter Gets Captured by the Game. I went in my house singing that song. I woke up my two kids, Tia and Dominic. I said, come on, we got work. <laughs> Do you hear me? I heard that. That's exactly how that happened. Because yeah. I had no vision of my kids. I'm, just, I'm going out and leaving my kids with my parents. You know, like, when I saw that little boy, I woke him up singing. <laughs> I said, come on, get up. My son, he was like, what is you doing, Daddy? I gotta go to school. You <laughs> show to get your ass up. We finna dance. So when Tick and Shawnee and all them came, my two kids were seven and nine, and they were my co-instructors in the basement. So there was all these people. Now Tick man, he was serious about learning. My basement was the learning spot, but it was the social spot. I couldn't even get people to go home. It just got bad. It was good and it got bad. You know how everything wants to, and then it go bad. I couldn't make people leave none of that, but my two kids were my core instructors and Tick was serious about learning. So just like I'm standing over here spending time with y'all and Tick on the left, he like, I'm gonna go play. He grabbed my daughter, like, come on. Yeah. She took him in the corner. There was another girl that used to roll with us, Mookie, uh, uh, Kenyatta. She was serious too, so she grabbed my son. They went to one corner, they went to the other. While I'm socializing and all that, my daughter Dominique is the person who helped the tick. That's crazy, she was seven. And he gives her credit for that right to this day. As we grew, as things grew, 1997, every single Every single person that won in the contest was out of my base. All the trio, all every category and every situation. But I was on the judges' panel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all y'all was like. Because uh, the perception is like, ah, oh, you know, we got some favoritism. Yeah, yeah. They went bad. They was on my ass like a chick. And I couldn't, I couldn't 
get away from it. You know what I mean? Everywhere that I went, it was like, you know, you rigged, did you this, you that. You got all your people, this, that, and the other. And I'm steady backing up, like, because I don't, it wasn't true. We just was good. You hear me? What's amazing? One out of two. Say that again. Like some of them old school that was doing all, you know, doing the footwork, like footwork, James and all, all of them, they was dancing when you were dancing or yes. they came after you? No, I, I was younger than all, all of them. Oh, okay. I was the one they kept trying to send home and they wouldn't go. George Macaroni, all of them. I, so they said, okay, come on. God damn it. If you're going to keep you're going to learn it, you're going to learn it right. I'm the youngest out of all of them. Like, okay. I was the bridge to taking on them. But one thing that happened was we started breaking up. Our you know, family circle started. And then I, I became, uh, I didn't like what was happening. You know, it was a lot of stuff pulling at us and all that. Because of course, when, when, when you got something that powerful and that potent, the masses, the, the, the forces that be are gonna work together to pull this apart. Because it ain't fun for nobody but y'all. You feel me? So we all went up and then we came down together. No lie, no joke, you know. It wasn't fun for nobody when we all started separating and feuding and all this kind of stuff. But one thing I will say is that we we started out family and we remained family. Say it again? Oh, family? And we remained family Girl? because y'all all, we all Girl? have families and we fight, we fuss with our families yeah. and we, we, it's like a rubber band and it's yeah. elastic but it will pull back. All the way back, all the time. So we all ended up coming back together through the years and all of that. I still have people winning in the competitions to this day. And the contest started in 1990. I was in the first contest. Didn't win shit. <laughs> but what I was was a man about it. You go and thank the people that do it, and thank the DJs, and thank everybody. That's where I became popular. Say he's a stand-up guy. You know what I mean? I started winning. It was wonderful. But I didn't want to compete as much because it turned it was turning bad. You know what I mean? So I would compete and then I would back up. I call myself having class to give other people a chance or whatever. Because today everybody gets in the contest every year. You know what I mean? Things have changed, you know. But one thing is for sure. When they announced that they were gonna do the Masters for 2015, 2015 Heritage Ball, we were at the Heritage Ball, everybody jamming. And I, I'm dancing and I looked across the room, Caddy on and I see a young lady in a black dress that's fitted, neck, short, dress was kind of glittery or whatever, and short cut. I said, that's Chinese. And the groove she had going, I'm like, I'm dancing, I'm trying to see. Yeah. So as the record went off, I shot over there. And I said, come on, dance with me. And they have the two dance floors and then the carpet in the middle. Yeah. We got on the carpet, because I need room. Okay. <laughs> and me and her started showing up. And the light bulb came on in my head. Okay. Like, this is it. By the time me and my nephews got to the airport to leave Atlanta, I was blowing her goddamn phone up. I was hitting her phone so much, she texts me back, what's wrong? I said, ain't nothing wrong. I need to talk to you. She said, nigga, I'm on a flight. Ain't nothing that damn serious. You to be texting, hollering at me this much. Yeah, listen, just like oh, that. You know how she is. Yeah. Nigga, I'm on a yeah. flight. I said, okay. No. Laughing no. faces. No. I'll see you in a minute. I said, uh, I want to dance in the Masters with you. I'm sorry. I said, uh, I think the team want to dance. Uh-oh. I said, give me, give me his number. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me his damn number. I called Tick. I say, man, your dad needs you, man. I need something from you. I need you to turn on. He said, what's she say? I said, she said, you. He said, if she want to do it, do it. <laughs> because, remember, I gave it to him. There was no money even involved back then. I didn't teach him for no money. You know what I told them? Each person that came to my basement, I said, give me $50 until you learn. One $50 bill. And you can stay in my basement forever. If you never get it, you still come back. They was like, what? It wasn't about the money. It was about the culture. What's up, baby boy? I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, we decided to dance. And it was a beautiful union. I'm talking about from the moment we decided to dance, it was all organic. Everything was like flowers and honey and milk and all the good <laughs> things in life. Yeah. So here's what happened. We never practiced for the contest. We took it back to the original days. We never, we got together one time. She, we, I flew her out to California and we went to the Shades of Brown in Oakland together. And we just shared that weekend and we danced. But we never like got together and practiced alone and all that type of stuff. And we was never worried about anything. So of course Shanice is not my daughter. Like when I had my daughter, I was in control of everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything. The clothes, the music, everything. That is not <laughs> Come here, baby. That's my first original part. So Shanice is coming. She, wait a minute, nigga. Now you ain't finna run every motherfucking thing over here. I ain't your daughter. She, she said them exact words. I ain't your baby girl. I said, okay, you're right. I gotta bring it down. We're gonna meet in the middle. So I'll tell you what you do. Come up with your ideas. I'm gonna come up with mine and we're gonna do what we do. So right away, we couldn't figure no music out because she's got a strong head, so do I. We sending each other music and what the fuck is this? Don't send me this shit. I wouldn't dare dance to that. I'm like, come on, Sean. I'm like, are you serious, Sean? I would never be doing that. So we stopped. We backed up off it. Now here's what happened. Uh, I, one of the veterans that helped raise me in the culture, uh, Leanna Hill. She throws a third Friday set at the 50-yard line, old school, bopping and dusty music. And she heard I was in town and she sent for me. She said, come to, and this was Friday, the night before the contest. And me, Shawnee, all of us went over there. Angie Fain, all of us, we went over there. Shawnee sent for me. I mean, uh, Leanna, she sent for me. What's happening, Tony? And they was playing. Come here, darling. If this is Stephens History Lesson, it's Stephens History Lesson. Is. This is the great. Dalinda Russell. Hello, Dalinda. This is my Love original you. partner. Hey, baby. Hi. We changed the face of the culture together. Yes. We had a chemistry that was unreachable by other couples. I saw her style of dance. Here's what happened. Little Alfred, the great little Alfred. He's a person that gave me things. You know, he taught me how to dance with 10 women at one time. He told me, he said, I got somebody for you. I had never met Darlene. She was from the West Side. I was from the South Side. This girl best used to be. Side. The West Side is the best side. That's right. She used to be a lover bull with the bulls. She had a couple of dates with Mike Jordan. It's true. So we had a. Huh? No, we love to see y'all. No, no, right no. We'll dance with So basically, her and I. The, the whole chemistry, the combination and all that was, I saw her yeah. style. Lil' Alfred took me to the west side, to the Rose, and I saw her dancing. And she was tall, you know, she had, she had, she had these statuous legs. And I'm like, that's her? I looked at Lil' Alfred and said, you did good, boy. And me and her danced for the first time, and it was chemistry. The first time we danced, wasn't it? I, and I, 
I saw her style of dance. It was different from any female on the scene. Any. She had this old school, definitely. Approach. Definitely old school. And she had things the best. that she would do. So I studied it. That's where the new school got, got it from. Us. I studied her style. Put it on record. Hey, happy New Year. Happy New but that's Year. What, that's what it is. That's what it was. And that's what it's going to be. You put me on the floor with anybody, I'll tell you. Man and woman, I'll tear down. That's a legend. Don't matter. I'm not. I'm not bragging. I don't brag. It's just that I come from. No brag. Just where the that. originals come from. City of Chicago. And then anybody out here teaching today, if they don't know the history about Stephanie. I'm not telling you. And that's the thing. You got to get it for real. You got to get it. Tell the history because yeah, it's it, you need to know it. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. We were the ones that brought yeah. this to everybody. And no, we kept, kept it going. Nowhere. We yeah, kept we it kept going. Me and a, a, a whole few others. We kept it going. And if it wasn't for Sam Chapman, Cousin Denny, Al McCormick, Terrible Ted, Ray Hurd, William Barnett, Kenny B. Thompson, it would never be. You all would never be. Because those were the DJs. So, so for those who that are teaching, tell them to give you some history about it. For those that don't know the history, don't, don't know spend it. Your money. So it's just like Ooh, an event. It'll, 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 it'll be like an all get that. It'll, it'll be like me going to Puerto Rico just because I'm in the country. I'm here for this. The teeth, salsa, or whatever. And it's, and it's, they don't know the history. Now that we got good. If you, if you know the history, then you can give it to the people. That's eager to learn this dance. Somebody get on the If you don't, they'll be scared to get on the You don't, you just doing the dance. You don't even know the history about it. They so this is, in our, in, in, in and our so community, so this is so what, I'm sorry, honey. This is what, in our community, this is what the black community, this is what we got. This is our own dance. This is the history of legend of seven. And then let me tell you another thing. They talking about stepping started on the south side? No, it did not. They talk about stepping started on the west side? No, it did not. It started in the city of Chicago. Everybody, everybody was doing it. And if it wasn't for the pimps, the players, and the hustlers, and the players, who kept it going with the, with the custom made, and the whole shebang, it would not have been See, it's, it's so much, it's so much that people are not telling you guys. They just, they so teaching they you, know. they teaching you bull crap, bullshit. They don't know. You gotta speak. Which is, which, is, which is not true. They teaching you some shit that they, in other words, let me stop you see them here, kids. In other words, because they want a contest, they figured, okay, well, I'm gonna start teaching you. They not teaching you the history. They teaching you what they know, which is what they don't know. So that's about it. That's about it. I'm not saying, hey, hey, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. I'm not saying I'm the greatest, but I come from some of the greatest. I'm going to put this in all of them. Some of the, some of the baddest, some of the greatest. Some of the baddest people in Chicago who have done this dance. Dead, gone, so I'm still here, like my brother. Burning up some nuts from the West Side. This ain't a simple moment. I don't know what one. You got some of the coldest stuff that's not here no more. Little Mike. Little Alfred, little minus. You got a whole slew of people on the west side. They always tell you the south side, but you got a whole slew of people that would never come out no more. But you know what though? It's all good because it's a thing that we're keeping it going. she's a legend of But you got to know, you got to know the real deal, holy deal about this dance. If you don't know then, something is wrong. So this is what I want to say about when she said, the, the pimps and the hustlers and all that. That's right. So here's the thing. In the inside of the uh, sets that we would be at, you know how stepping is is really uh, wonderful. Now I call it corporate. You know, it's it's very safe. It's a safe place to go. It wasn't safe for us back then. We were young. It was gang banging and all of that. It was a lot of like you know, uh, pimps and and their workers and stuff and. Somebody's working and ran over on the other side, and he like you giving me my work back, and it would be confusion in the club. So it was never safe like it is now. We shed blood and tears in those clubs and stuff to get to here, 
to where it's safe and all that because our environment was not safe and we were very young and yeah, it was dangerous. It, it, it was not to safe. A certain extent. Listen, but it was not safe, but everybody knew everybody. But let me tell you one thing. Where we come from, back in the 70s, everybody had their own style. So now they today That's true. everybody all of these all, like it's not about an individual, it's about a whole separate community. That's so true. if you're gonna keep it going, keep it going. But know the history about it. Because I'm not gonna go over in the in the walls and do a walls and not know anything about the history of the dance. You gotta know about the dance. You know what I mean? Because I give you the whole real deal, holy deal. And that's just the real deal. So but thank you ladies. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you need any more, I hey I'm willing. You already know we gotta have a I'm willing. To I'm you willing though to give them the real deal just like and then i'm gonna go a, a gentleman came up to me last night and said he's doing a contest in indiana i said oh, oh well hold on well if you if you're doing a uh, contest i'm sorry if you're doing a contest in indiana but do you know the history about stepping he said no i said well you need to find out because it's a contest that you that you're putting on but you can't tell the history about it so something wrong with that something wrong with that and those people that who have previously, he, he wanted me to judge. I said, the only way that I'm going to judge is I'm going to give them the real deal, holy deal. So those people that he had previously judged, they don't know nothing about the history. So it's not about one person. I don't care how great. I have danced with the greatest. It's not about a one person individually. Yeah, I mean, they're going to come around and it's a rhythm thing. You got to get the rhythm. You got no rhythm? Bag it. Find your niche. Yeah, you <laughs> Find your creativity. You ready, sis? Find your Come style. On. And be the greatest <laughs> and keep it flowing. Hey, you, you gotta do that thing. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Yes. Well, you know what? All I know is I'm waiting for the, the choir to come in or the deacon to take up offering. So well, ain't nobody gonna sing or nothing. Ain't no offering gonna be taken up or nothing. <laughs> we ain't gonna eat after choke. We just ate. So, <laughs> oh my God, was that not awesome? Oh my God, that was. Nice. I, I am done. Amen. I'm about to Y'all put hashtag Amen because we just been preached to. Yes, look, we look at all us sitting around going, ain't no more words. I've been preached. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Uh huh. Then what the day is Right. Why is, I find that in Chicago, the history is so important to them right. about the dance. Right. Now, yeah, you good question. Okay, she said. So now I understand okay, that in Chicago, the history of stepping is very important to you all. Why? Because of where the dance has went. It's just like anything okay. else. Okay. You know, it's like... They're doing all this stuff, and okay. these guys are walking past the legends and stuff, and okay. it's kind of distant. Like, okay. Yeah. 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 They're not. Oh, we. Like, oh, yes. Class. They do that. Yeah. They do that. Yeah. It's disrespectful. But okay. Very disrespectful. Okay. okay. It's disrespectful. So when you say they walk by you, when you say they walk by you, they walk by you, guys. Right. So, not me literally. Okay. But, but I'm just saying, the but there's yeah, other legends that they walk past. They don't walk past me, but yes. They walk past you and they're, you know, they, they're the shit now. No. They're the ones that's winning and the top guys and they don't even know they're the shit why. Because of they don't even what? know why this contest is here. It was because of us. And we had something so rich and think they felt like investing in us with these competitions or whatever. So as the years went by, the old got washed out, the new came in. That's like anything else. That's and anything, that's important right. because I don't think they're so even I'm aware to, of what they're doing and that's just about anything, anything. in history that we cannot uh, not allow or, or give homage to the people that's done that Even made that for point. you, Absolutely. but that's your responsibility. Right. So my right. thing you're going to teach it, you need to know right. where it came right. from. Right. And do it, like, do it for instance, instance, not just know where it came from. I'm going to give you a great example. And I'm going to tell you even why I am from Philadelphia. My mother and grandmother and older sister taught me how to buy. But never, never was their history. Why? Because it was a family thing. It was something that we shared. Once you we get didn't know no money cow. involved, 
things change. Or that's that's where white Tommy. folks get involved. Well, that's next. Yeah. That's if we don't once be they get involved. Once they get involved. Let me that's tell y'all. Y'all about to take us some offer right. so now, freedom. So now the education should come in from you older guys or yes, these should. younger guys. Well, slow your road. Hold on. Hold on. Slow so your I'm going to say this. Perfect example. Sean Bandy. Y'all know Sean Bandy? Yeah, right? we know Sean Sean Bandy in 2015 when I was going to win the Masters. Long story short, I took him up in the hotel room when he came out. He won first place in the Richards. So I told him, hey, some things that go along with this. And he listened. So it's the reason why y'all know his name. Because he's the one who is very humble. Oh, very, 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 if, 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 if you all are in town, or if, if, this was before he even won a competition, this was in the early days of his upbringing, he would call people and find out, are you going, you coming to the 50 tonight? Like call some of us, the elders and stuff, and we looking at the phone like, no, like, this is wonderful, because nobody was checking on us. Right. But he was, he, he wanted the history, he wanted the authentic dance, he wanted the real deal. So he started going to all the veterans and getting it. So all of us put hands on him. And all of us love him. You know what I'm saying? So now it's being infectious. Everybody's like, you know, shine, shine. But it's a reason for that. So now what has happened is all the other younger guys are paying attention to him. Right, right, right. And I knew that this had to take place. Just like I had all the tick and all them in my basement and we went, you know, when you're a leader and God has put something on you, you have a responsibility and you can't misuse it. Right. So we did right by the culture. And then this boy is phase three and he wants to do right by the culture. He likes to gather up everybody and make sure that every this is all good. And we're like, He's the second coming of Christ because it's what we need. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's like, and one thing I will say is this: things are slowly getting better in in this community. You find it's the truth. Everything's slowly getting better, and it's what we needed for our culture. Now here's the thing: this dance and this experience that y'all own. <laughs> we think so too. So from this experience, then from just this, we need to take this. Well, listen, this has never been done before. Right. We're tapping into some things. You know, we, us that had that, brought this whole new school thing out of my basement and all that, we have some ideas about keeping this dance authentic and alive. So. Things are changing for the better in the right direction. And it's it's all in the plan of the master's work. Because things will go bad, but if you got a lot of people that care, we're gonna fix it. I wanna say, I want I wanna ask you this for the record, because you know that's what I do. I am the tea lady. For the record, because you know there was some mess that was going on. For the record, I see Tony Dow and I see Drew. Everything is all right with y'all, ain't it? It was all right the whole yes, while. For the record, so everything here, is good with y'all, ain't it? I had a problem when I saw the T-shirt that he had on. So I didn't know when I posted what I posted. I, it was nothing nasty or, or, or vulgar. I sincerely wanted some understanding. That's what I said. And then I said, y'all help me. If I'm tripping, let me know. So everybody started chiming in. Sherry said, you know, this is a brand. This is this, this is that. So I came, I took that post down and I came back with another post and said, thank y'all for enlightening me. I didn't know. And I apologize. Real man, real man. I wasn't on, I, I said, I'm, I want to be the last one to bring some negativity into this. And most people that know me know that's true. So it was done within, but what happened was other people picked up the ball. Now I want to say this. The reason why I did the post. You see, I love this young man. And when I first saw him dance, I told him, give me his number. 
I called them. I said, hey, and we chopped it. I said, you know, and brought him out to my house, all that, because he attracted me. This boy could dance. And when I saw him dancing, I told my nephew, I said, he's giving me a chance to come back because they had took footwork out of the game and he brought it back. This guy right here standing next to me. This one here? I told him, I said, I'm back. He didn't opened up a gate for me in here. <laughs> and I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. Chicken them and took chicken dray on they took that footwork shit out. Get that shit out of here. We this a spin game now. So, here's the reason why I did the post. I'm walking around on that weekend and I'm hearing little pockets from the guys in Chicago and they're talking very vulgar and dangerous about this young man. And I said, this is not a great thing that's about to happen. So I'm gonna step in here and do something about it. I'm gonna ask the question that they not asking because they own some other stuff. And we can't, I can't have that in this community where harm comes to him. So I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna ask the question for everybody. Yeah, I took a hit and I knew what I was doing. Don't nobody else know why I posted that. So I'm saying it right now. Yeah, it was niggas talking shit about him. <laughs> listen, if you can't talk, listen, this is a t-shirt. You can say it. Sip, sip. Sip, sip. Talking sip. Sip. Hennessy, sip, sip. We, we, we drank tea. Wait, wait, go ahead. Get it fast, I'm Hennessy. But here's the coming. thing. Mm -hmm. He I came to my workshop yesterday. Me, Sean, and Tick's workshop. He showed up. He paid money. I love it. So I had helpers in the building, some of the legends to help with the students. And I'm telling Drew, you know, come on, you here. He said, nah, man, I paid. I said, give him his money back. And he finna help me. He said, no, nah, I'm here to learn. And he had on his t-shirt. I love it. I love it. I love it. Y'all hear me? I do. Not on my watch is going to be no negativity in this community. If I can do something about it, I'm going to. It's, it's not a problem. I'll be the big brother that take hits. But I hit back. And when I hit back, it's real. It's not this bullshit. So this man right here is my family. We don't have no problems. And these are the type of things that you will see in the community. Little things, uprising, and all that. And then you got all these people that want to stretch it. And, so that's what I was going to say. They picked the ball up after I dropped it. Somebody else picked it up and said, oh, no, that ain't flying. And we doing, okay, everybody do what y'all doing. I'm done with all that. On to, next, on to the next subject. And eventually, I guess it died. I don't know if it died. I don't even care. I know I don't have a problem with him or his T-shirt. Or his lovely young She's beautiful. So, yeah, this is what it is. Now, I'll say this. This is another part of the history of the culture. Him right here. When he came in, he opened up a floodgate for everybody that was not in Chicago. Yes. They like, oh my yes. God, is this yes. what's happening? So basically, he's a pioneer of his own. Because we all know before he came along, if he was from out of town, it was hard as nails for you to win something here with all of us in Chicago. We're gonna kick your ass if you from anywhere but here. And he changed that. And you gotta applaud that. So now people are winning from different cities. And it's all good for our culture. And one thing I know is it's going to continue to grow. That whole city thing happened because of the Step in the Name of Love video, where we started taking it to the next level. Well, a lot of people thought that video was bogus because it was fake and step, step, side to side and all that. But what they don't understand is it was a reason why that song was done. It's what made all of this. It never would have been. People could complain all they want about it being a uh, fake and they was up there bullshitting and they didn't show the real deal and all that. No, all y'all salty because y'all didn't have shit to do with the video. Let's keep it real. Because all of us that was in it, we wasn't complaining about a damn thing. We was having a good time and we was making good money. And that's the facts. What's up, sip then? So, when... Say, what's going on up in here? Say, what's going on up in here? Well, congratulations again on your win there, ma'am. Awesome, 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 awesome. You've given us all kind of history. That's what we do. Oh, my God. That's what we do. Oh, my God. And look, I'm going to say this. So I used to dance before. 
That's what Godfathers do. They answer the phone in the middle of a live. Go ahead, baby. We'll wait on you. Rob, you here? <laughs> That's Rob, y'all. Just wait a minute. This is Rob Jones who made the remake of Love is Gonna Last. Hello? Oh, well, that's what that is. We'll wait on him, y'all. You here? Huh? Right, and we gonna watch her eat and lick her finals because that's what let y'all just wait on What's the line. Say? We got over six hundred people looking. Out. That's all right, y'all wait. What you was that's right. Like. You can talk to. I know you got some questions to you. Did you have you heard it all week? Yes. yes. We have. Yes. You know we have. Y'all yes. make sure y'all look up, Shani. What is your your I'm sure your next one's already right, full. Come on, I got you. Yes, my next one is always full. All right. I want the the next one for the ladies will be September. Okay. But then the next one after that is November, and I do have some openings left. I uh, only take no more than. 15 women. Did you have a men? Yeah, men. men. The men's boot camp is coming August 3rd to the 6th. Oh my God, y'all. And that's already full cool too. Oh Lord, him. It's a wonderful thing, people. Okay. Oh my God. So, I was saying, they are so <laughs> I was dancing just a little before her a few years, and in my experience in the early days, I came across her uncles, Mario and Stanley. Stanley's here. So listen, I was in the, I was in the Chick Ricks. They used to have a Thursday night contest every Thursday. Where well, you lighting? Like no, don't light it. I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna Yeah. Don't light it. Don't light it. I can't stand over here. I ain't coming back. Good. Good. So, Good. her uncles. Now, this is a, you know, each experience helps make you who you are. I saw her uncle get in the contest, and they were tall, and they were big shots. And they wore tailor-made clothes, and they were big shots. And he had this little woman. And he was dancing, and he was dancing in this way that I had never seen before. This boy, he was doing all kind of shit. And his made pants, the, the threads are coming along. So as he's dancing, his pants are spreading. And he's getting down. He took his partner, stumbled around, and picked up little ass up and had her up in the air, excuse me. He had her up in the air, and when he set her down, she went, she started killing him. This man won the contest and told Mr. Ricky, take that money and buy drinks for everybody in this building. I said, oh shit, he's a big shot. And I want to be a big shot too. <laughs> It impressed my mind, you know what I'm saying? It's like, who does that? Who wins a contest and say, hey, batter people drinks? I was impressed by that man. And those were Shawnee's uncles. This is her background. You understand what I'm saying? So we, we come from this, this thing that we call a culture and a lifestyle. We were bred it from the, from the concrete up. And we're gonna be here until y'all rolling us with flowers and a caravan behind us. Because that's what we do. We step and we love the culture. This is the culture right here. All this that y'all see. And it's a beautiful thing. So you all stay with your experience because it's a good thing. And what she's doing is providing you all with some great services that you won't get anywhere else. She's the one and only. So, Peace to y'all, and I got love for y'all, and anytime she asks me to support or help y'all, I'm there. And make sure you tell the live that you love them because you have about a thousand people watching you right now. All them people is my people. What's up, my people? <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. You know, I've, I've been blessed, gifted. Everywhere I go, in any city, they treat me like royalty. Me and my family. I can't tell y'all how that feels. Until you experience it, you won't know what it is. It's a beautiful thing. Peace. Thank you. Love you too. We love you too. Bye. Woo. I guess we can go on. Well, that was parking. Well, that was a parking lot pimp on a whole other level, right there. That's the. You feel what I'm saying? Well, I love y'all. Bye. Sip, sip.